Well, good evening, everybody. <clears throat> My name's Julia McGuinness. I'm a reader in Ellesmere Port Parish, and I'm leading this evening's prayers. As I put earlier on the um, Faith in Time of Corona page, this evening we're doing something slightly different in that we're going to go through uh, a lead meditation on a scripture passage. So I'm going to read our Bible story first. It's the feeding of the 5,000. And then we're going to walk into that story and uh, encounter Christ in it and pray as one of his disciples. So our story this evening is the feeding of the 5,000 and I'm taking it from the Gospel of Mark. The apostles gathered around Jesus and told him all that they'd done and taught. He said to them, come away to a deserted place all by yourselves and rest a while. For many were coming and going, and they had no leisure even to eat. And they went away in the boat to a deserted place by themselves. Now many saw them going and recognised them, and they hurried there on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. And as he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When it grew late, his disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now very late. Send them away so that they may go into the surrounding country and villages and buy something for themselves to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. They said to him, Are we to go and buy 200 denarii worth of bread and give it to them to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves have you? Go and see. 
When they had found out, they said, five and two fish. Then he ordered them to get all the people to sit down in groups on the green grass. So they sat down in groups of hundreds and of fifties. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. And he divided the two fish among them all and all ate and were filled. And they took up 12 baskets full of broken pieces and of the fish. Those who had eaten the loaves numbered 5,000 men. It's a story we may be familiar with, um, but the idea of our prayer tonight is to walk into that story and to encounter and experience it for ourselves as if we were there using all our senses and a bit of imagination. But if you don't feel imaginative, don't worry. You can draw on your empathy, how would it feel to be there? And maybe your memory of, of things, not just pure imagination. So you may not feel you've been amongst a Middle Eastern crowd, but you may remember being among other crowds and you can use that response and reaction to bring into the story. So just in a moment or two, just settle yourselves quietly and set that intention to meet with Christ tonight in this story, because it is his intention to meet with you at any and every time you're open to him. So you know from his side, there's an openness to welcome you. So just simply set that quiet intention to meet with him in this story. And let's enter the story as his disciples. We just joined the disciples and as one of the disciples it's been a busy time for you lately so much happening in work and ministry exciting but tiring sometimes not even enough time to eat Jesus is suggesting a day away together for some quietness and rest What's your response to that idea? What are you hoping for? The boat is launched and the trip across the lake in a light breeze is pleasant. You feel the motion of the boat on the water. Let the sun warm you. What's the mood among the disciples? And what are you doing? For a moment or two, let all your senses take in the atmosphere. As you arrive at the remote destination on the far side of the lake, you notice crowds of people have got there before you. What's your reaction to that? What are the other disciples saying? What's the mood among you now? Look at Jesus and notice how he is responding.
Jesus spends a long time teaching the people who have gathered. Take in the scene with all your senses. See the crowd sitting on the grass or standing round the edges of the group, straining to hear. Look at Jesus. What do you notice about him? Listen to Jesus' voice compassionately ringing out. Notice other sounds, perhaps the lapping of the lake, the laughter of playful children. Are there other things that you can hear as well? What smells waft in the air and the breeze? How does your body feel? What emotions jostle for attention as the hours go by? Are you with the other disciples? What goes on among you? The day is coming to an end now. It's not been what you expected at all. How are you feeling at this end of the day? Some of your friends suggest that Jesus should send the people away to get food. And you listen eagerly for his response. He says, you give them something to eat. What's your reaction as you hear this? Do you say out loud what you're thinking? Why or why not? You stand with the other disciples at the meagre fare of five loaves and two fish that are brought forward. Look at them. Notice the smell of bread and fish at the end of a long, hungry day. What's going on inside you? Now Jesus is telling you to get all the people seated in orderly groups. There are thousands of them. What's your attitude as you walk among the crowd, organising them into manageable clusters? Just look at them as you wander between them, men, women, 
children. Tired after a long day, but excited at what Jesus has been saying. Listen to snatches of their conversation as you move around. Feel the change in temperature as the day starts to turn to evening. When you come back to where Jesus is, you see that he's raising the bread and fish and giving thanks to God. What's going through your mind as you watch this? And then he hands each of you some broken pieces to give out. It takes ages. You have to keep coming back for more. And there always is more. What's happening for you as you keep moving to and fro and seeing everyone get enough? What do you see and hear among the gathered people as they realise they will all be fed. Finally, everyone has had enough and Jesus tells you to go and gather up what's left over. So off you go. You walk thoughtfully through the satisfied crowd, letting them put in your basket what has not been eaten. Before long, there's a whole picnic basket full of food for you. You sit down a little way from the edge of the crowd and eat. This food is special food. Taste every mouthful. Jesus is close by. Do you want to talk with him? Whether you want to talk with him or prefer not to, just sit there for a few moments, taking in what's happened and what it might all mean for you.
we come to the end of this story and are walking through it. Perhaps there are particular reflections or insights or connections that have happened for you tonight as you've spent time in this story. Perhaps it's been felt quite ordinary and maybe nothing special. But it has been your intention to open yourself to meet Jesus in his life. And God honours that, honours the intention, even if you feel there isn't an immediate reward for what you've done tonight. It may be later that this story will come back to mind and link to something very specific in your life. And you see how that intention has been met as Christ meets you at your point of deepest need. I'm just going for a moment or two to invite you, if you wish, to make any responses you'd like to in the comments box, perhaps something that struck you, uh, perhaps a comment on whether that was helpful or not, um, anything you, you'd like to share just invite you to do so if you wish, or just keep it to yourself if you wish. I'm just going to draw our prayers to a conclusion now. But please do get in touch if either you found this helpful, you'd like this to be part of evening prayer again, or, or maybe you think it's not appropriate and that, that's fine. That would also be helpful to know. Well, just a prayer for us tonight as we close and a blessing on us as we go to our rest. The Lord God Almighty is our Father. He loves us and tenderly cares for us. The Lord Jesus Christ is our saviour. He has redeemed us and will defend us to the end. The Lord, the Holy Spirit, is among us. He will lead us in God's holy way. And so to God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be praise and glory today and forever. Amen. And so of those, as those who have been fed by Christ tonight and have been part of the feeding of Christ, we go to rest, asking that he would give us peace overnight and the invitation to come and pray together in the morning at half past nine. So I wish you a good night.